Hey developers, in this video, we'll be learning about .NET MAUI collection view with the grouping enabled. So if you are getting some type of list of items from the API, then what is the best and easiest way to display the uh, grouping in our uh, collection view or list view? So in this video, I'll be showing you that. So I'll just uh, so, uh, show you where the project I have taken from. So here, uh, this project uh, was taken from .NET MAUI visibility converter in xaml so i have already provided the source code uh, so just take it from there i'm not using it anyway so this is my continuation of all the videos i have uh, where i have uh, already done lots of uh, tutorial regarding the collection views so what's our approach our main approach is like we'll just create a collection view okay or a list view just this is just a list view or a collection view and i'm 100 percent sure you know about what is collection view and the list view and uh, what we are going to do is like uh for the item source okay just uh, concentrate over here we'll just ge get a list of people that means our uh, item source from the view model this is the mbbm approach so uh, uh, people which are grouped uh, that is our people who are, who are grouped we are just going to take it and we are going to uh, create two uis that is this is the details ui this is the header ui okay so just uh, concentrate over here that is our group header template that means this is the header ui that we will be creating and this is the body ui so this is the body ui and what our header looks like is uh, this way so you can just play around with the headers of your own okay and uh, i'll just let you know what about that what are the things that need to be included over there so uh, our body is going to contain name and the age so here you can see the name and the age okay and uh, if it is a jan and uh, means j then there are two items okay so these are the bodies that is name and the age that are binded okay and the key key is the header okay so key is the header so uh, header we are going to separate it from the collection of list items so in order to do that we are going to create a, a binding with the main page view model so we are just going to create a main page view model class okay and this is very basic and a basic tutorial where i'll be introducing you to the link query li and q queries too so here you can see in our previous tutorials also uh, in order to bind a uh, ui with the uh, view model what i have done uh, is like we have created a collection view and added a person class a person as a model class right this is the model class that we have used and then we have binded it to the ui so same thing nothing uh, fancy over here whenever uh, like um, our code reaches over here to the main page view model whenever the, our app starts then we are going to get it uh, get all the collection of items from either the api or the database right so th that is pretty simple so what we are going to do is like let's suppose you got uh, a variable object which contains a list of items okay as a person so this is the model class okay and i'll just let you know about the grouping and string what does it really mean okay so you got a uh, list of data okay so what we actually need to do is this is the only code that you need to apply that is a link query and other than that you you don't need to do anything that is like in order to create a grouping this is the class that is needed okay so watch it out so this is the only class that we, we need that is a grouping of the key okay and we are, we are going to add the items uh, to the uh, what it is called uh, the task item and then uh, that is it so this, this is the only code and in order to refer to the link query uh, regarding the uh, grouping statement you can just take the source code from here okay this is from the microsoft learn you can learn more regarding the grouping using the link query that is having uh, from something to group and then uh, we can just play around with those things but i'll just explain you what is happening over here okay so what we actually uh, going to do is like uh, from people this is the list okay from people we are just uh, going to create a variable person okay this person is going to get ordered by the name that means john jane bob alice is it going to uh, like get ordered by name uh, on the alphabetical order okay and then what we are going to do is like then this code is going to do all the magic that is group that variable person by person dot name okay and now grouping started okay in the form of string because this is just a string and we just want that title run day, right so as a string into person group this is also another variable okay and this variable uh, we need to select 
inside the grouping uh, statement this is the grouping statement we are going to send the key and the value which uh, which the group the item belongs to so we are going to send it and we are going to finally add it uh, add it to the items okay and then again uh, send it back to the group people then what happens is like people group is the observable collection which is binded with the main page dot xaml that is it okay so key gets the key data and the uh, name and the age gets the uh, body data so that is how uh, the grouping works so this is one of the basic tutorial uh, regarding the grouping uh, using the xaml so that's all for this tutorial now guys thanks thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials